Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here I am once again bringing you, bringing you another video. Um, today's topic is going to be binge watching and I'll be sharing with you guys my favorite um, Netflix shows. First of all, I want to start with Orange is the New Black. Yes, season 3 just came out um, not so long ago. And I have to admit, I loved season 1. I love season 1 and 2 because... Um, they were so different that you didn't know anything about these characters. You didn't know anything about these women. You didn't know why they were in prison. At least I really wanted to know why was Piper in prison? You know, what did she do? Or what did all those women do to get to land in prison? So that's why I kept watching, you know, episode after episode. But it's kind of a funny, weird show because they don't exactly tell you. It's like you have to kind of keep going, um through each episode in order for you to learn a little bit, in order for you to learn a little bit of each character and just kind of like see how the story unfolds. Uh, but season three, for some reason, like the storyline was just really odd to me. I felt like a lot of it kind of kept repeating itself and it was really, sh if I felt, I don't know why, but I felt the season really short. Um, I do have to admit, I really like the ending and if there's a season four, of course, I'll be watching and to check it out. But for some reason, I didn't like it as much as season 1 or 2. I don't know why. But moving on to show number 2. Also very similar to Orange is the New Black. It's about women. It's about women in prison. Um, it's called Wentworth. And I have to say thanks to my girl, Abby. She suggested this show. And I watched it and I got hugged. I got really hugged. Um, I have to admit, it is better than Orange is the New Black. I feel like they have the same storyline, but they're different genres. Like, Orange is the New Black, it's more like silly, you know, funny. But Wentworth, it's like, it's not funny at all. It's more drama, more action, more violence. There's definitely a lot, I tell you, a lot of blood involved. And that's not the reason why I like the show better. It's not. Um, I'm not a big fan of violence. But it's just like the storyline, it's so good. It has, has such a good storyline. Um, the characters are amazing. And Netflix right now only has two seasons. I watched season one and I've watched season two. I know there is a season three out there, but um, it's not available on Netflix. So I'm really waiting for that to be up there up soon because I can't wait to watch it. Um, how I mentioned, the story is about, you know, a woman in, pre in prison. In this aspect, it is similar like Orange is the New Black because um, you don't really know exactly every woman's story or why they're in prison. You kind of have to watch episode after episode, a little bit of each, and then you kind of understand where they come from, why they act the way they do, why they are how they are, and why, you know, they take actions and just who they are. Her character is Bay, um, who's a mother that gets in, that lands in prison for like you know maybe the wrong reason. Um, her daughter dies from a overdose while she's in prison. So it really sucks. She comes into prison like a very weak person, not so strong, just wanting to get out of jail. And you know all these actions that happen just make her become so strong she becomes like a really strong woman like a go-getter like wanting to go get revenge for her daughter's death like this show is really intense there's a lot of action and there's a lot of drama like i definitely recommend it if you have never heard of it or if you have never watched it go watch it i'm sure i can promise you that you won't regret it moving on to a, another very popular show grace anatomy i mean grace anatomy is just amazing i mean who doesn't love my dreamy like he's just the best um i love that show and it's funny because i had i love that show all 11 seasons um i know this show has been going on for years like over 10 years and i didn't really watch it uh when it originally started maybe i might have been like in middle school um late elementary or something and i literally started watching it uh, about a year and a half ago. Why? I don't know. I didn't have Netflix probably. Um, but I did start watching it and I just got so hooked from, you know, the first season. Um, I got so attached with all these characters and I started like, you know, getting so involved with them that I wanted to know what was going to happen to them. You know, were they coming back or were they gone? Like, I just wanted to know everything about them. So that's why I got so hooked. I kept watching 
season um, after season. Um, and this show is like really emotional. Like I have to admit, I sh I dropped some tears throughout um, the episodes just because like I got so attached to the characters that you get that I couldn't help it. But drop a tear, call me a crybaby. I'm fine with that. But yeah, if you've never heard of Grey's Anatomy, if you've never watched it, or you don't understand why the whole hype about it, um, you should definitely head over and watch it on Netflix or whatever service you use to watch shows. And I'm sure you're not going to regret it. Moving on, talking about health and life and saving a life. Um, another of my favorite shows, it's Chasing Life. It's not very popular. I don't know how many have heard of it or how many have watched it. Um... I didn't discover it on Netflix. I actually saw some commercial about it on my TV and I got really intrigued by the previews because it looked really intense. So I was like, I'm gonna check on Netflix and see if by any chance it's there. And luckily it was and I started watching, you know, the first episode and I got so hooked that I had to continue watching episode after episode after episode. Um, and there is two seasons on Netflix, which I watched both. Um, there is a third season which is currently airing right now. It just aired like, it just started airing in, Ju in June I believe. Um, and I've only watched the uh, season premiere, so the first episode. And it was like really good. The first episode got me hooked and I want to continue watching it. But unfortunately I haven't been able to keep up. So I'm just going to wait till season 3 is up on Netflix just to like watch watch it completely. So, um, Chasing Live is about this young reporter in Boston and she's chasing her life of becoming this, you know, badass reporter. But, um, she, as she just gets her first, she lands her first job as the, at the Boston Globe, um, as a reporter and she discovers that she has leukemia. And it's like such a sad story just because you know, she wants to live. She has so much to live for. To live for. She's only like 24 years old. You know, starting her career. She has all these like goals and aspirations, and she doesn't um, want to accept that she has leukemia, so she doesn't treat herself right away. But um, it starts getting worse. So eventually, she has to go through chemo. Um, she loses her hair. It's really hard. It's such an intense show. Um, and she fights. She fights for her life and she's literally chasing after life. That's why the show is called Chasing Life. And I have to say that um, if you're a sensible person or emotional, if you watch this show, you need to have a box of cleaners by your side because I'll guarantee you that this show will make you cry. Okay, so moving on to another of my favorite shows on Netflix and this one is Once Upon a Time. And let me tell you that when I first heard about this show or I would see it on Netflix, I was like, once upon a time, it's going to be this, like, Cinderella story. You know how they, like, remake all these, like, Disney movies into, like, you know, like, more actual. So I thought it was one of those type of shows. So I didn't even bother to watch it. And one day I just got really curious and I was like, you know, let's just check it out. At least see the first, um, see the first episode and see if I like it or not. And I saw season... Um, I saw the first episode and I got hooked on it. It's really good. On uh, Netflix, there's only, I believe there's three seasons. I think there's three seasons. Um, and I know there was, there's one, there's a fourth one, but it's not available on Netflix yet. So I'm waiting for that to happen because I want to watch it. And it's just about this, um, it's, it's literally <laughs> once upon a time. It's about a fairy tale. About these fairy tale, um, characters from like a fairy tale book that, are actual real human beings living in in the in this world you know um and it's just a really cool story like the whole thing of this show is just like believing um the main character she was born into this like fairy tale family like her dad is prince charming and her mom is like snow white but you know as in every fairy tale it's always good and there's always evil so evil one in this time long long time ago like once upon a time so this one girl was the only survivor well i'm wrong there was two survivors but she was one of them and she was um tossed out to boston and years later when she's a full grown woman um she's thinking back to this fairy tale city you know where her parents are her family is but she doesn't believe she doesn't believe in fairy tales um and she doesn't believe any of it 
but eventually, you know, there's like some drama between good and evil, and she needs to start believing to, um, she has a son, so she needs to start believing if she wants to recover her son, so she eventually does, and she notices that, you know, magic is real, that these people, these creatures are actual fairy tales, and it's a really nice story. I really like it, especially how I said if you like your Disney characters, you're for sure you'll have your Cinderella, your Snow White. Um, I believe we even like Frozen and Cinder. It's actually a really good story. Um, it reminded me back of my childhood. And those are my five favorite Netflix shows. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to comment, comment below. And if you're new to the channel or you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye, guys.